I know it has been a long time since I posted the video, but I'll definitely be posting more frequently. Today we will be talking about six types of bridges. The first type of bridge we'll be talking about is a suspension bridge. A good example for this is Golden Gate Bridge in, in San Francisco, California. It has 250 pairs of vertical cable going from the top arch of the bridge to the bottom deck. It also has 27,000 and did you hear that? 27 thousand pieces of wire at top arch at the very top of the bridge connecting to the big pillar supporting it but it's been galvanized so it just looks like one big wire on its 50th anniversary it was swaying sway 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 Oh, by the way, this is my little sister, Melody. <laughs> and it was swaying, but it still was strong. The second type of bridge we'll be talking about is a truss bridge. A truss bridge, you can tell by its name, tra us, is a triangle. It's made out of triangles. A truss bridge is made out of triangles because it's a very strong shape. If you put force at one edge, it will bend. But if you put force at the corners, it will push onto the other two corners, which will push onto the road deck, which will push onto the ground, which will make it stable. A truss bridge is so strong that it can support the weight of trains, pedestrians, and cars maybe all at once <laughs> and the third type of bridge we'll be talking about is an arch bridge an arch bridge can be in two forms one form it can be is a top deck design a good example for this is blow crowns bridge in western cape south africa blow crowns has a deck above the arch. The arch is supported onto the mountains and the arch so there will be compression on the, the pillars connecting to the arch which will push onto the arch which will push onto the ground to keep it stable. The second type of arch bridge, a below deck design, is just an arch bridge with the arch above the road deck. A good example for this is Sydney Harbour Bridge in Australia. It has, it, it also has like suspension like cables, which will pull up on the road deck. And it will also push down onto those two pillars which will push onto the ground. And also, fun fact about Sydney Harbour, it's, it's only connected at one point, one, at the very bottom by the by hinges. Like, you know the hinges by your door? Yeah, that type. Just way bigger. The fourth type of bridge, you see it everywhere. It's called a beam bridge. You can see it on highways, freeways, and it's actually really popular. You can, it can support trains. It can support, I don't know, anything. Literally. It's very common for that reason. A beam bridge has pillars, which push on the ground when applied weight. Which means that it pushes on the ground, or obviously, and then it pushes onto the ground, which makes it stable. I know I said push it onto the ground a lot. 
The fifth type of bridge is a cable slate bridge. A good example for this is Nelson Mandela Bridge in Johannesburg, South Africa. A cable slate bridge is kind of like a suspension bridge, just with no arches at the top. La, la, la. <laughs> anyway, a cable slate bridge has a beam, like a beam bridge, but with wires at the top going sideways down like you drawing a picture of um, let's say a pyramid <clears throat> and the the wires are pulling are literally carrying the road deck literally it's carrying it the road deck is supports is supported on the ground is supported on the ground uh, th uh, this cable sleigh bridge is so the the main thing about a cable sleigh bridge is the beam if it's not constructed well well disaster also the the wires the wires going sideways it's it's so that that there's no imbalance force because if there's imbalance force on this side and that side then it will bend, 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 bend. Last but not least, a cantilever bridge. There's this cantilever bridge in Scotland that I don't really know the name of, but it really looks nice. At the bottom of the bridge, the, by the road deck, it's being pushed down by the cars it's also kind of like a suspension bridge but the beam supports it and there's also like this square rack rectangle on it and the rectangle actually helps it's not part of the design it actually helps the the rectangle pulls up on the road deck which pushes it onto the beam which pushes down into the ocean floor or well the ground wherever it's located i hope you enjoyed learning about bridges don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell not literally hit it though <laughs> bye i hope you enjoyed learning about bridges bye